This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. And thanks for choosing News 4, everybody. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines. There are more demonstrations planned in our area this afternoon in honor of George Floyd, the man killed during an arrest in Minneapolis. And since the widespread violence on Monday night, the last two days of protest have been peaceful. We saw large numbers of people yesterday in downtown St. Charles. Demonstrators went down First Capitol Drive before making their way down historic Main Street. Protesters called out the now familiar chants of Black Lives Matter and no justice, no peace. Turning to the fight against the pandemic, Missouri's top health official says it appears there hasn't been any more new cases of COVID-19 connected to a widely publicized party at the Lake of the Ozarks over Memorial Day weekend. Now, this video made national headlines with people not wearing masks or social distancing. Last week, one Boone County resident who was at the party did test positive. However, Dr. Randall Williams says that they've done some contact tracing, and to his knowledge, there have been no more positive cases. Mizzou students may be starting their fall semester a little earlier than usual because of the coronavirus pandemic. Today, the university's faculty council will discuss a proposal to start the semester on August the 12th. That would be 10 days earlier than normal. You know, if the council approves the plan, it then goes to the board of curators. Time now for a check of the forecast. Here's Kent Earhart. Well, the good news is it's not going to be as hot today as temperatures will be uh, kept down, held down a little bit from the rain that we've had and the clouds that will linger into the afternoon a little bit. The high temperature today, about 84 degrees. We could still see a spot storm or a shower uh, here or there, but mostly rain free. And in fact, becoming partly cloudy as we get into the afternoon. Watch the rain kind of fade away as we go into the afternoon. And the skies open up a little bit with a quiet night ahead. We'll start at 10 o'clock and run you overnight here. And you can see uh, maybe a spot shower or two overnight, but that's about it. Now there's another one of these systems off to our Northwest that's going to try to dive in our direction. It, Begin, it's beginning to look like in some of the models that this thing falls apart by the time it gets here, but still a chance for a few showers in the morning or maybe even a thunderstorm in the morning tomorrow, uh, but generally a rain-free day. The bottom line is it's going to be hot again tomorrow. Yesterday was 93 degrees. We're going to be close to that again tomorrow, and that really kicks up the heat index. Tree count is low now. The grass and mold are showing up in a high count, and we are expecting a moderate uh, ozone day today. So 93 tomorrow for the expected high temperature, the heat index close to 100, an isolated storm certainly possible during the day tomorrow, but not a lot of rain expected. 89 on Saturday, maybe just a spot storm again, a lot of dry time both days. Uh, many of you won't see any rain at all on both of those days. Sunday looks really nice, rain free and partly cloudy. In fact, mostly sunny on Sunday. And Monday looks very nice as well. Then we could get in to some of the rain associated with the remnants of tropical storm, or this morning it's a tropical depression, Cristobal. So we'll keep an eye on uh, the potential for some heavy rain the first to middle part of next week. All right, Kent, thank you very much. I'm Maurice Drummond. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody.